What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Grand Cross video. We are going to be doing a showcase on Red Escanor. I know I'm late to the party. His banner has been out for probably a week now. And I got him the day the banner came out. But I was kind of pushing him off because ever since I had Grand Cross on the PC now, I haven't been playing as much as I do on my phone. Although I can play on my phone, it just feels better on the PC. But getting off to topic, got him level 80, maxed out, got his 6 star awakening already down, his for his equipment, his bracelet, six, uh, his 3 starred, his necklace is whatever, his belt is 1 starred, his ring is 1 starred, his earrings 0 starred, and his rune is 1 starred. So for the bracelet and rings, I just gave him an attack boost, and for his belt and rune, I gave him that HP boost. Just so he has a little more scoop for his boot. His skills. We got his first card skill. Blazing Sun. At 1 star it inflicts amplified damage equal to 180% of attack on one enemy. At 2 star it amplifies damage equal to 270% on one enemy. And at 3 star it amplifies damage equal to 450% on one enemy. Pretty OP. He's really good against Red Merlin. Not Red Merlin. Green Merlin. Boss Rush. Battle. Whatever. His second skill. Charge and Fire. It's an AoE attack. At 1 star. It inflicts 150% of attack on all enemies. At 2 star. It's the same. Except for the 2 star. Depletes 1 ultimate move gauge orbs. And at 3 star. It does 250%. Of attack but depletes three ultimate gauge move orbs his super is the same as green Escanor's you got 840 percent of attack on one enemy but when he's with Merlin he does 960 percent attack on one enemy his unique amplifies an effect on the hero which increases HP related stats by 50 percent at the start of the battle for three turns and I'm gonna set up his PvP team and we're gonna roll him. We're gonna try him in some PvP. So, this is the PvP I opted to use or opted, 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 whatever. This is the PvP team I'm going to be using in the showcase. We got Red Escanor himself. We got Green Jericho just to counter any blues we go against. We got Red Gother just because I'm gonna be using him to level up Escanor's cards. And then we have Merlin on the bench just because of her unique, which gives, which lets our whole starting group start out with that extra orb for their ultimate already, like right when at the start of the battle. And with that being said, let's first, let's hop into this. I'm, I'm so bad. I haven't recorded in a few days, slurring my words, all that. We're going to skip to our first PvP match. All right. Got our first opponent. He is his combat class is almost near ours, and there's three level 80s on the other team. With they're all red, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take advantage of this, and we're going to go for let's say Meliodas. We're gonna hit him with that AOE. <laughs> We're gonna hit him with this level 3 card. Ooh, dude. Already almost took out Meliodas. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. And we're already about a super with Escanor. And then as you can see here, his unique gave him that little icon above his health bar. Holy hell. Okay. Yo, leave Jericho alone. I know she's a bikini warrior right now. But you don't have to go ham on her. All right, we're gonna take out Meliodas. We're gonna go for Arthur, and we're gonna hit him all with the AOE. Okay, we didn't even take him out. Hopefully, this takes out. All right, Meliodas is done. We're supering with Escanor, unless okay, okay, Green Escanor versus Red Escanor. I'm pretty sure you already know who wins this battle. We're going to see if. 
our level 80 red Escanor could take out this level 65 green Escanor. Pretty sure it's gonna want. Dude, he just took out my Jericho, man. That probably wasn't a good idea to run a green. Maybe I should have had a blue. But who knows? All right. So I'm just gonna use this, get rid of that super, and actually no, 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 no. We're gonna take him out with Escanor, Escanor on Escanor violence, and then we're gonna get rid of that super. Okay, he didn't take him out. 75k though. SA SA level 1. I only pulled one of him. We do take out the green Escanor and we do get rid of Never mind. I don't know. I don't know Red Bond's unique. I guess it just regenerated his ultimate gauge or He's probably going for Merlin. Don't even need her in this situation anyways. It didn't one shot though, which is pretty good. Pretty good. We're going to level up his attack card, which probably takes out the Arthur. And perfect cube, just for the hell of it. Good damage on a unit that has that's type neutral, red on red. I can't... Dude, how did he already get a super, though? He didn't even go yet. He didn't even go yet. Okay, he was obsessed with taking out Merlin for some reason. But it don't matter. Goodbye. Just say bye to your Superman. Unless you magically somehow got it again. This should get rid of, what, three orbs? Get sort of three... And let's see how much damage Escanor does. Almost enough to take him out. Okay, so his unique does something with his orbs. But who cares? Who really cares at this point? He is just going ham on our units, though. That red Bond. I don't really care for Bond units. Or King units. Or Diane units. It, they just don't matter to me. But... Bye, Bon. You put up one hell of a fight, that's for damn sure. Let's hop into our second PvP match of this video. Alright, welcome back. We are on to our second PvP match with Red Escanor. I wonder who his top three are. So we got green, green, red. Am I correct? Green, green, red. There we go. So, just for starters, we do got the type advantage because two reds beats two greens. And we're just gonna... I think this is online player because it's kind of laggy, kind of choppy. We're just gonna take out his Escanor before he can super or whatever. Because green Escanor will get annoying. 30k with the level 2 card. This is an online player because it is taking longer than usual. And why is Jericho only getting the cards? It's not right, man. That's not right. So he's probably going to attack who? Okay, he's going after my red Escanor. Even though the type disadvantage is going to stop him from doing that much damage. As you can see, whenever you see the damage dealt, the arrow is pointing down because it is telling you type disadvantage. So we're going to hit him with this this and then we're just gonna go after his Meliodas. Actually, we'll hit them all with the debuff. This might, this this round might take him out. All right, bye Escanor. I wonder who's on his bench. It's gonna be like what, Merlin? Probably Merlin. Everyone runs Merlin, just for the extra. Okay, he has King on his bench. I was gonna say, everyone mostly runs Merlin just because of her unique which is actually pretty OP because I'm already going to super with everyone, pretty much. Who is he petrifying? You ain't petrifying anyone? All right. Let's see. So that took awfully long. We're going to go after both of these two. I hope his Meliodas doesn't do... A lot of damage on Escanor, but I'm pretty sure he will. 
but not enough to take him out. Okay, so he did a crap ton of damage, but not enough to take him out, which is, thank God, that was the case. Because, who knows? I'm pretty sure losing Escanor in his own showcase would be bad for business. He is still going after Escanor, but it's not going to work, buddy. Oh, you're healing too? Well, sorry, man. I'm sorry to do this, but say goodbye to all your supers. What a shame. What a shame. I'll even hit everyone with this buff that Gother gives to his homies. Bye bye, supers. Bye bye. Bye, Meliodas. Bye. Let's see how much this does to him. This is gonna kill him. 76k. I'll definitely take it. Remember, his super attack is 1 out of 6 because I only pulled one of his cards. I have to keep taking sips out my drink because I keep rambling and my mouth gets dry. His Gother is already gonna super. Okay, that was cute. Okay, that was cute. Well, I'm just gonna do the same to you, buddy boy. But this time, we'll actually take you out. I hope, I hope we take you out. Yo, we didn't take him out. Okay, I might have got too cocky. Might have got too cocky. Because if he has a max heal, this is probably bad. This actually, it's not gonna be enough to take out my Gother and my Jericho, but it might take out Escanor. Oh, it didn't even take out Escanor. I bet he was hoping it took him out. But this is bad. All my cards are locked. Guess I could do this. Alright, so, don't really think his king can do anything in this situation. We are going, hopefully he doesn't take out Escanor, so I can show off Escanor going off against a level 80 blue. But he's probably going to take him out. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, that's unfortunate, but, yeah, I, it's just how it goes. I'm sorry I'm going to have to do this to you, man, but... It looks like best girl Jericho is going to have to get the dub. 48k. Thank you, Jericho. Thank you, baby boo, with your fish. With your... Ooh, ooh, look at you. Bikini warrior. So, that is the PvP portion of his showcase. Let's head on to Twigo. Alright. Twigo, you are going down... Escanor is going to go ham on you and Alione. So we got the perfect setup. We got a rank 3 card for his AoE and his attack. And we have his super. So I'm thinking we let Escanor super Twigo to see if he can one shot. And then we'll use his 3 star attack card on Alione. And then we'll use his AoE to take out any of the scraps quickly. There we go. One shot. One shot. One shot. One shot. 240,000 damage on a type neutral enemy. And 226,000 on a type advantage enemy. This was Red Escanor. This was a showcase. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do consider leaving a like down below. And subscribing if you want to witness more of my content whenever I upload videos. With that being said, thank you in for tuning into the video. And I'll catch you guys soon with another video soon. Probably... Mikasa showcase on the JP version of the game. I'll see you guys later.